Hello, my name is Dr. Suleiman Waqi Ahmed. I'm a pediatric gym practitioner, an author, and also a certified reviewer. Today, I will be talking about a very important topic, which is physician effective communication leading to cerebral injuries in children with cerebral palsy. Inspiration and alignment has guided me to write this review article while encountering during my practice as a pediatrician referred cases of previous stable, positive, and progressing cerebral children who had not yet celebrated their first team birthday and ended up being in a deep coma and mechanically ventilated post-cardiac arrest outside the hospital settings. This dramatic end was believed to be probably caused by food aspiration, which could have been prevented by effective counseling and the denial struggling parents about their children condition. This report tried to emphasize the importance of effective communication and this importance is could be elaborated by linking the level of provided education and the intracranial injury that could happen the to the cerebral palsy children. However, after mentioning all the interacting multifactorial reasons with the effect of communication that could lead to cerebral injuries in CB child, by revising the teacher on disclosure of truth and communication calls for honesty, frankness, consulting both parents at a time, and the discretion of each family's sensitivity to individual needs. This depicts the need to share all the circumstances involving the CB child's condition with the parents. Upon conclusion, I concluded that CB is incurable condition and if complicated with ICH, it might get worse. The neurological long-term outcome is unfavorable and the incidence of such complication should be studied among CB children. Moreover, since studies show that a good percentage of CB children's parents have unresolved status with the diagnosis of cerebral palsy, it becomes necessary for physicians to communicate effectively in a long-lasting fashion and to put in extra effort while being enrolled alongside other healthcare providers in effective communication courses. Additionally, following up should remain strictly under a multidisciplinary approach for all CB children. Thank you for having me today and I hope you enjoyed reading my article. Thank you.